dinner tonight. Um, a couple of tips when you do stir fry. First of all, a deep pan is great. I do have a wok pan. Um, it has that high sides and that high concentrated heat in the bottom of the pan. If you don't have a wok pan, just use a high sided pan. Always also use a light oil. Um, it gets high, hotter in temperature than say like olive oil. Typically, I always use olive oil when cooking, except when I'm doing stir fries. The other thing that you wanna do is, um, what I like to do with my chicken, we're gonna do a chicken and shrimp stir fry. Um, shrimp, of course, takes very, very little time, and we kinda of almost want it just more steamed. So I'm gonna actually take my chicken and cook it first, remove it, start sauteing my stir fry vegetables, which I just got a frozen bag of stir fry vegetables, and then add my shrimp at the same time and then add my chicken back to it as well. Um, but I like to coat my chicken or like my beef or pork um, in either a seasoning or a cornstarch. Um, I'm using an Asian seasoning. So this is the Pampered Chef Asian seasoning, which is, oh my gosh, as good as carry out. Um, and so what I'll do with this is I'm gonna hit the pan with this real quick and you'll hear it sizzle. It's already coated in the seasoning. And then what you're gonna do from here is just shuffle it around the pan so that it's all touching the bottom of the pan. And then the trick with the stir fry is to let it sit, okay? Don't fuss with it. The reason you don't fuss with it is you want those nice brown caramelized bits on the, on the protein. And so I just let it sit until you can kind of see the white up halfway through if it's a, a chicken or a pork, um, or if it's like a beef, you kind of see that it's starting to brown on, the, um, on, on there as well. Um, so, that being said, stir fry is super easy. It is kind of something you have to pay attention to, but it really only takes about 20 minutes to do. So as long as you have 20 minutes of some uninterrupted time, um, then you can definitely dig into a stir fry. Like I said, this one's gonna be chicken, and then I'm gonna add a bag of frozen stir fry vegetables, defrosted raw shrimp. Don't use the pre-cooked pre, um, stuff because it'll get real chewy in here if you try to steam it or cook it. And then we're actually gonna use a finishing sauce. It's the sweet chili sauce from Panda Express. But keep in mind too, this is a finishing sauce. So this is something you put over your all of your ingredients once it's done. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to be um, like cooked into the food. You can of course toss it while it's warming over the heat. Um, but don't actually just try to like cook raw chicken and stuff in it. You'll burn this and you're not gonna enjoy the flavor. This is a finishing sauce. Um, so that's it, that's a stir fry for you guys. Of course, I'll be using my three quart micro cooker plus for more rice, if you can't tell, we do do a lot of rice around here um, because of the gluten-free stuff and that's definitely something we can um, enjoy all together as a family. But a couple of stir frying tips for you. Hopefully you guys can tackle one of your own. Leave me a comment, what kinds of things do you guys like in your stir fries? Have a great day.